The German city of Nuremberg held great significance during the Hitler era. The Nazi party chose this city to be the site of huge conventions known as the Nuremberg rallies. The rallies became powerful propaganda events designed brilliantly and meticulously to inculcate the Reich's ideals into the minds and hearts of the German people. At the 1935 rally, Hitler ordered to pass the infamous Nuremberg Laws which revoked German citizenship for all Jews and began the systematic oppression of the Jewish people. Then came November 9 and 10, 1938. Kristallnacht, the night of broken glass. The Nazis wreaked havoc on thousands of Jewish-owned businesses, homes, and synagogues throughout Germany and Austria. Mobs attacked Jewish families. They looted and vandalized homes, shops, and shuls. They torched 1,400 synagogues. Some 30,000 Jewish men were rounded up and sent to concentration camps. More than 90 Jews were killed during the pogroms. Thousands were beaten mercilessly. On that dark night, the beautiful, grand, orthodox synagogue of Nuremberg, Adas Yisrael, the Congregation of Israel, was also burnt to the ground. We actually have photos of the events in Nuremberg taken by Nazi photojournalists invited to document the atrocities from up close. These photos were hidden for 84 years, and a few weeks ago, they were discovered by a grandchild in the home of a Jew who fought in the Second World War and liberated Germany. As you can see in the photos displayed right here on the video, first, they destroyed homes. They beat Jews sleeping in their beds in pajamas. Then, they torched the beautiful synagogue. Thousands of German youths celebrated as the shul was going up in flames. One German child, 10 years old, stole a beautiful golden Hanukkah menorah from the synagogue, and he kept it in his home all the years since. Less than a year after Kristallnacht, the Second World War broke out, and the Jews of Nuremberg were no more. 84 years passed. Just a few months ago, the rabbi of Nuremberg, Rabbi Eliezer Chitrick, who is now the spiritual leader of that very shul burned down by the Germans in 1938, receives a letter from a German man. Rabbi Chitrick, the Chabad rabbi in Nuremberg, emailed me the letter, and I read it to you in English translation from the original German. Dear Rabbi, my uncle stole the golden menorah from your synagogue. When his father discovered it, he smacked him and instructed him to return it. But at that point, the community was no more. The Jews have fled or perished. Today, I am happy to return the menorah that my uncle took to the nation it belongs to. I hope you can accept it as a gesture of peace and friendship, wishing you and your community lots of success. What inspired the nephew to suddenly return the menorah? A number of years ago, he writes to the rabbi, he met a Jewish couple in Zurich, Switzerland. Their name is Weiss. Mrs. Weiss came from Nuremberg, and when he heard the real story of real people, real Jews, how they suffered under the Nazis, he decided it was time to return the menorah. This year, Rabbi Chitrick will be lighting the Hanukkah candles in this very golden menorah which graced the shul till Kristallnacht. The rabbi of Nuremberg shared his feelings with me when he received the menorah. If you observed those fires in Nuremberg 84 years ago, you would have logically concluded that the story of Judaism and the Jewish people has come to an end. It all went up in the Nazi flames of hate and sadistic violence. But eight decades later, on this Hanukkah, Millions of Jews are kindling flames of love and hope in Nuremberg, in Germany, and across the globe. And as I speak, Rabbi Eliezer Chitrick is lighting the very menorah that was stolen from that very shul that was torched in 1938. Oh.
flames are burning brighter than ever. Yes, the light has been stolen and suppressed for 84 years, but light does not disappear. It resurfaces. Happy Hanukkah.